Hey guys, welcome back to my keel project. Today is the day that I'm going to bed the keel tray down in the bottom of the keel box. I discovered there was a steel bar in the back of the keel box which I didn't really like and that was co definitely causing me some problems um, allowing the keel to camp, especially in uh, choppy seas. So um, yeah, what it's all about is building up the flange around the bottom of the keel case so that the keel tray sits supported on all of its sides, whereas before it was only supported on opposite corners. So the first thing that I should probably mention is this is the steel rod that was in the back of the centerboard case. And you can see that it's definitely served a purpose. It's got a big dent in it and it's slightly bent. So for impact resistance and general wear protection, I think that's definitely served a purpose. But the big question is, is uh, am I gonna put this back in? Now I had some great comments on the last video regarding the steel rod and uh, lots of input and lots of suggestions and lots of thoughts from you guys. So thanks very much. Um, suggesting to put it back in. Um, I did say in the last video, and inevitably I am gonna ignore some advice. So I hope no one feels that their advice has been, been chucked out or dismissed. But the simple matter of the fact is, if I was to put this steel bar back in, that's going to raise the aft edge of the keel tray again by about probably, I don't know, by the time I fiberglassed it in, 15 millimetres, which is going to increase my depth in the, what I need to build up in the middle of the keel tray. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it out and I'm going to do my fillet and bed the keel tray down all the way around and see how I get on because there's nothing stopping me next year. Um, I do want to drop the keel again next year and I've run out of time. The sun's coming out, spring's looming. I'm at the point where I really want to get this back together and, and launch the boat in a couple of weeks time. So I'm just going to chuck it back together. Next year, I'm going to drop the keel again, get it blasted and finish off the keel um, epoxy fairing and, and coating and everything and depending on what it looks like I will install one of these on the front edge and the back edge and then add another fillet on top of it maybe with a bit of glass for a bit of reinforcing. So I've just lowered the keel tray down and I'm going to have a look underneath just to see how much thickness that I've got to make up. So with the keel tray fully lowered you can see that it's nicely supported on the the aft end and it's supported on the forwards end both sides are touching so i'm confident that the keel tray is sitting exactly where it wants to be and this is the gap that i need to make up so here is a little bit about what i've done with the keel tray i have sanded it all down reinforced it patched it up three coats of epoxy primer, the Jotun HB epoxy primer. And then I've put three coats of the SML premium yacht paint polyurethane two pack paint on there to give it a bit more protection. It's probably gonna wear off. I've then added a one millimeter EPDM Firestone roofing membrane that I had left over from a job. And what I've done is I've stuck it on with Sabotac adhesive. And that's gonna give me a little bit of cushioning and a little bit of impact resistance and it's just going to separate the solid surface of the keel tray and the solid surface of my fillet that I'm, I'm going to put in. I've then wrapped the bottom of the keel tray in epoxy release tape, this stuff. So a massive uh, shout out to Mike who has donated this to my cause. And uh, yeah, so I've, I've put a layer of the epoxy release tape on, which I think is better than parcel tape and it's easier to remove afterwards. It doesn't leave all the adhesive residue on there. And then I have then tried to do a really neat job of applying peel ply. 
all the way around that's going to absorb any excess resin and with the release tape I'll be able to knock the keel out afterwards and release it and the peel ply when I rip the peel ply off that's going to leave me a really nice textured finish and remove all of that waxy residue that comes to the surface so I won't have to get in there and try and clean it all and sand it all back inside the keel box I have sanded it all down uh, I've, I've hit the, the flange up with 40 grit sandpaper so that should have a decent key and up the sides a bit as well. I've keyed all that up. Um, so I've wiped all down with acetone. The first thing I'm going to do just to prime it all with epoxy resin, just neat epoxy resin. Brush it all in there and, and get a sort of primer coat on it. Then the second thing I'm going to do is mix up a little bit of epoxy filler and just go round and just smooth it all into the gap all the way around the bottom so it fills any cracks down there and then I'm going to mix up um, a decent sized batch of epoxy filler and start to build up my bed all the way around and then drop the keel down, keel tray down straight on top it's going to squidge out the bottom then I'm going to go underneath and smooth it all out so that's the plan hopefully it's all going to go well Right, I'm going for it. It's now, uh, it's now raining, which is less than ideal. I've got 200 millilitres or 200 grams of resin in here. I think that might, might give me a good start. Well, I might be looking at mixing up an, a little bit more, um, but I'm obviously worried about mixing too much up. So we will see what this does. Right, I'm going for it. <laughs> Might be enough. Oh man, this is the, the moment. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm a bit like, it might be a little bit not enough, but I'm gonna lower it in. Kind of part of me is telling me that I want to put some more in, but right, it's down. Gonna stand it. Right now, hopefully, we can have a look outside, see what the damage is. Yes, I squidged out. almost all the way so I reckon I've just got to come down here and just start pushing it in so I'll get my card and start spreading that about forcing that in there Right dudes, I've done it. It's completely full. I've got the peel ply on. When that's gone off, I can pull the peel ply off and then that'll just require a little bit of sand and just to fare it back in. Yeah, overall I'm pretty chuffed with that. I think the keel tray has gone down well. That had a decent amount of squidge, but was slightly short in a few areas so I've managed to pug it and we'll see I mean if I pulled a tray up and there's a few bits that didn't quite get it that's not the end of the world just to put a bit more in and 
do the same thing again, but I just feel like that's that's got it quite nicely. So pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, so pretty bloody chuffed with that. That is a, a milestone. Just push that down a bit. Hopefully that'll come out. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll come back down tomorrow and try and knock it out and see what it looks like. Right, here we are. Oh, it's the next day, it's been 24 hours and uh, I'm gonna try and get the keel tray out. I'm actually gonna just pull on this a little bit, see, see if it'll actually just release. I think it will need knocking, but it'll be interesting to see if it does. No, that's well and truly in there. No, I'm gonna to have to go down and knock it out a little bit. Let's do that. Right, here we are, got a peel ply here. I'm just gonna peel this off. This is really satisfying. Look at how well that peels off. And the great thing about this is it stops the amine blush, which is a byproduct, and it displays itself in a form of like a wax. And it's to do with the humidity in the air. My rope runs through these holes and it also runs on the outside of the peel ply, doesn't it? Why didn't someone tell me this when I was down below? So basically, the tray would have just lifted out if I wasn't trying to take the peel ply with it because the, the whole idea was that the tray was going to come out and leave the peel ply behind. But anyway, it's out and I can see in there. Okay, so. I'm pretty chuffed with it, apart from I, I didn't quite get enough in the front edge and a little bit on the side there, a tiny bit there on the right and a couple of little bits on the back. But overall, if you look at this, I'm super happy with that. So what I'm going to do is mix up a little bit more filler just uh, get a bit in there, just spread a little little thin layer in there and uh, drop the keel tray back in without any peel ply um, because it's not going to take much for me to, to scuff it up. Right, you can see how tight that is. All the way around. So I'm pretty chuffed overall, but there's just a few little bits I'd like to um, I'd like to fill in again. Okay, it's the next day, and I'm gonna see if I can get the tray out and see what my repairs are like from yesterday. I just added a little bit more filler and just pressed the tray down again. So we'll check that out now. Right, I've just removed the tray and I couldn't be happier really. This is what I was trying to achieve first time round. Uh, don't know if you can see that down there, it's all really nicely full. Uh, I've just got to sand all that back now because I didn't use any peel ply, you can see it's shiny. Um, that's the amine blush. I've got to sand 
the shine off and uh, clean it up a little bit and then uh, I'm going to epoxy paint it. But I'm well chuffed with that now. That's completely full, exactly how I wanted it. Okay, I have got a mask on. Well, I've got this on as well. But, oh man, I, fucking, I absolutely hate doing this. I've sanded it all down, fared it all in, cleaned the bottom off, sanded the, the edge all the way around, and uh, given it all another good sand. I'm going to wipe it down with acetone, and then I'm going to get a coat of epoxy primer on there. Right, I've mixed up my epoxy primer, just in, giving it the half an hour induction time. And I'm going to get on with uh, painting this up. Happy days. So having applied three coats of epoxy primer, we are one step closer to that long awaited shakedown sale. Join me next time where I will be doing some keel repairs and finally wrestling the keel back into the boat where she belongs. So thanks for watching and see you next time.